Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold and resolve the blue screen error code 0XC0000E9 that you're coming across on your Windows 10 computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. So this tutorial will apply for Windows 7 and Windows 8 computers as well. It might look a little bit different, but I'm going to be using a Windows 10 computer, so the initial setup is going to be slightly different, but the process for Windows 7 and Windows 8 has a lot of overlap as well. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So the main difference, we're just trying to get into the recovery options on Windows. So if you're on Windows 7, or Windows 8 or Windows 10 if you do a hard power off three times in a row, meaning if you hold your power button down and just let your computer turn off quickly, do a hard power off, not letting it just do a normal shut off, it should launch the recovery option tools that we're going to be going through. However, if you actually can boot into Windows 10, I would suggest that you actually go open up the start menu, type in settings, best match to come back with settings, go ahead and left click on that. Select the update and security tile and then select the recovery option on the left side. On the right now, if you look underneath advanced startup, start up from a device such as a USB or DVD, change Windows startup settings or restore Windows from a system image, this will restart your PC. Make sure you save and close out of any open programs and applications you may have open right now and then select restart now. Otherwise, feel free to just do the hard power off method I mentioned. You can also boot from the media creation utility, so from a DVD or CD as well, or more than likely going to be USB CDs, generally are not going to be big enough to have the Windows installation media on it. Underneath choose an option, select troubleshoot, reset your PC or see advanced options. Then select advanced options again. Now we have several different options we can go through here. First thing I'd personally suggest would be selecting start or prepare, fix problems that keep Windows from loading. You might say that it was unable to repair your PC. Go ahead and select Advanced Options if that's the case. Select Troubleshoot again. Select Advanced Options. You can also try doing a System Restore, so use a Restore Point Recorder on your PC to restore Windows. So go ahead and select that. If you had any Restore Points, I'd suggest going back and seeing if you could restore back your system. Another thing you try would be to go ahead into Safe Mode. So if you knew you had a problem, you can go in under your Startup Settings and then relaunch your computer into Safe Mode. You also try uninstalling updates, so remove recently installed quality or feature updates from Windows. So you can go ahead and select one of those options as well. And if all that failed, if you went back, you could also go underneath reset this PC in the beginning, let you choose to keep or remove your personal files, and then reinstall as Windows. So you could go ahead if you are not afraid of losing your data on your computer and you're going to be cleaning it. So you're just going to have Windows remaining, but your files might not all be transferred over. You could select keep my files which will remove apps and settings but keeps your personal files or remove everything which remove all your personal files, apps and settings. So I just want to give you guys a few different options out there. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.